say is even harder to find Well then there must be some magic clue inside these gentle walls Hey everyone, welcome to Chit Chat. I have the pleasure today of introducing you again to Jill Marie Payton. You all know who she is. She was the uh, matriarch on um, Family Matters. And she's also starred in Desperate Housewives, Will and Grace, Girlfriends, The Jamie Foxx Show, and many more. She's going to talk to us today about her new project. And I'm just really thrilled that she's taken the time out to come to the Pierce Manor and chat with us today. We're going to have a good time. So we want you to sit back and relax and, um, and enjoy the show. This is a very special show for me because I've been wanting to do this for some time and I was talking to my girlfriend about it and uh, Miss Peyton agreed to come on the show and help a sister out. I'm just thrilled. I'm sitting here uh, very uh, preserved but I'm really jumping up and down inside with joy, excitement, and honor and it's a privilege to have her here. So. Uh, with that in mind and with my heart just thumping, I know you can hear my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I know you can hear my heart. Uh, jo Marie, tell us what it was like to be on Family Manners for such a very long time. Well, it, it was it was a blessing, that's for sure, because I made a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great plus. Uh, so that I could do some things for myself and a few things for other people, too. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful, but Family Matters might have been, whew, I don't know, maybe halfway through my career. I've been at it about 40 years. Well, almost that, maybe like almost 20 years into my career. I had been at it for a while, mm -hmm. you know, prior to Family Matters. Uh, uh, Perfect Strangers was before that. There's two years yes, before that because yes. it was a spinoff series for it. And That's right. I had done Silver Spoons and I did the old Red Fox Variety Show, did 13 of those uh, in 1977 and I arrived in L.A. in 1975. So uh, Family Matters yeah, was the one that just kind of took, took it to the top, you know. <laughs> and uh, and it, was, it was wonderful to do it. I enjoyed all of the my castmates that I worked with. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I had a good working relationship, you know, with my uh, the first producers, executive producers. I just got to tell it like it is. The first executive producers, <laughs> and uh, uh, it, it was it was wonderful. It was it was a blessing. Mm -hmm. Well, you bless us truly by um, your character, and I want to ask you um, with your with your character on Family Matters and your personal life as a mom. Was there a, a, a crossing between the two, or was it more real life in both segments of your life, a home mom and family matters mom? And was there any um, parenting? You um, know what? It, it, it wasn't really a crossing. It was a little different, only because the kids that I had uh, on Family Matters were older than my daughter. Mm -hmm. You know, my daughter was four years old, I think, when I started Family Matters. And uh, the kids were like 13. I know Kelly was, Kelly had just, it was Laura, she had just turned 13. Darius was 13. Jaleel came six episodes later, but he was 12 going on 13. So mm -hmm. they were older than my daughter. But you know what? Parenting is parenting. Yes. And all. And I, I figure I'm an adult and, and I know how to deal with children. So it didn't make any difference what age they were. If I was old enough to be their mom, <laughs> you were their and mom. I, they, they, I was their mom. Period. You know. And that still stands today. So uh, parenting is parenting. So it, for me, Doing what, what you think and feel is right, giving a child the right advice, giving yes. them the right example and stuff, came easy to me because I was one of nine children. I was the oldest girl, mm -hmm. and I was the second oldest out of nine. So I was kind of always in charge of something, yes. you know, and, and yes. trying to make sure that it was done right. So Family Matters was kind of like me uh, in front of a camera, you know, just <laughs> kind of doing what I do. Do naturally. You know, yeah, what I do naturally. I understand that because I'm the eldest of eight. Wow. And everything always fell on me. My parents didn't seem to see the other children. It was just always, well, why didn't you do this or why don't you do this? And I thought sometimes to myself, these are your children. I'm supposed to be a child. I want to go out and play. But you did not say that. Right. But, but you know, for, for me, I never felt like that because I'm hyper. I was always hyper. I'm so hyper right now. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and all I wanted to do was whatever I had to do, 
I just got it done so I could do what I wanted to do. Yes. <laughs> whatever, whatever my mama told me to do or whatever I had to yes. do, do it quick. You did it. I did it quick, I did it good, and I was through with it. And I said, okay, I'm finished. You know, then I'd go and do what I needed to do. Yes. So it was a little different. To move that. right along. Yeah, and then my mom raised us by herself from the time I was 12 years old, you know. Mm -hmm. So it was, it, it, yeah, a lot was on me and, and, and all, but I didn't mind it because I wanted to help my mother. Sure. My mother was a hard worker. My mother yes. worked out of seven days a week, my mother worked six days. Wow. You know, and sometimes seven on the seventh day, she would go and sweep out a beauty salon, sweep up mm -hmm. the hair and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I asked my mother, Mom, why you gotta work every day? Why you gotta work seven days? She said, to get done what I need to get done. I said, Mom, I ain't never working seven days a week for nobody. I don't care who it is. I'm not <laughs> working seven days a week. And, uh, and I never have, you know. And I asked, I said, well, you know, she said, listen, just, just know that I do what I do so you don't have to do it. And God, that's the truth, you know. And, and I, I hope that I showed her how much I appreciate it what she did by stopping her from doing what she thought she had to do. Oh, that's I sat her down. That's wonderful. So she didn't have to do nothing if she didn't. That's wonderful. You know, I so. like that. I like so that. So thank you, Family Matters. Thank you, audience. That's what you all did for me. You gave me the opportunity to let my mother know how much I appreciated what she did for me. Mm -hmm. On that note, do you think that the, um, the youth today, the teenagers today, the young people today are as appreciative of their mothers and fathers as say we were when we were uh, being raised coming up? I think some of them are because I think some of them are focused in on on responsibility. I don't think the majority of them are. I think mm -hmm. the majority of them are spoiled, just like my daughter was. You know, yes. I'm, I'm on today, hallelujah. Yes. You know, yes. and uh, I put myself in, in no special group. And uh, they're spoiled. A lot of them are spoiled. I don't think they mean to be... Uh, uh, you know, irresponsible. I don't want to say unloving because I think they love their parents. Yes. It's just that so much is thrown at them. You know, the 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 you know the the world is their oyster. You know, they, they, it's just they, everything is there for them, mm -hmm. and they want to believe that easy come, easy go. It's yes. like it's like fairy dust. You yes, know what I mean? And yes. they don't realize that, so they don't appreciate their parents and all that they've done until maybe they get in a situation where it gets cut cut off, mm -hmm. or they start having their own children, and then they say, "Ooh, maybe that's not working." It's, it's the same way I say for, for some of my, my my younger people that are in music, mm -hmm. you know, and it's okay for them to walk around looking like they look with this hanging down and that hanging out and everything. And all. <laughs> when they start having kids yes. and their kids start wanting to do that, then they back up like, hey, 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 <laughs> wait a minute. And uh, uh, that, I, I think, you know, we need to put a better balance on because when I run into some of them and I do it, they either say, hi, moms, or Miss Winslow, or sugar mama, whatever they want to call me. Yes. Long as, it's, long, as long as it's in an endearing type of feel, I don't care what they call me, mm -hmm. but they can't call me Joe Marie. I want, if they call me Joe Marie, I want to answer. Okay. I want, if I'm old enough to be their mother and they can't say Miss Joe or, 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 or Miss Winslow or if they can't give me something with a handle on it, I don't answer them. I just ignore them, you know, and y'all need to know that too. If I don't answer y'all, that's why, you know, you know, because I, I demand respect. I really do and I want it. But at any rate, uh, with them, as far as the parents, I think the majority of kids, you know, love their parents. They really do. Even the ones that are out there and rapping with the profanity and all the other stuff. And I love the rappers. I, I think they're some of the most talented they are young talented. people out there. Yes. And, and I think when they go in, into uh, a situation with the mother or the grandmother or whatever, and if their mom or their grandma say something, they're probably ducking too because they know. But, you know, <laughs> it's the business of the business. I think there is a time and place uh, for everything. I think there's a dress appropriate time. I think there's a... Uh, there's a, a vocal appropriate time for everything, but this world was made for all of us, and there are no set rules, I don't think, that are just orthodox for anybody. That's and then, we live in a different kind of world right now, we you do. know, so we, really we have to be accepting of everybody. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't care who they are or what they chose to do, and uh, I don't condone certain things, but it does not, but, I, but, but I'm, a, I'm a stern believer in, in, uh, in life, and, and I respect people's opinion, and, and I feel like you should be able to do whatever it is you want to do, as long as it's not hurting anybody else, impinging upon anybody else's rights, you know, or it's not vicious. And I think you should be free to just be. I just be too. free to be. I applaud that statement. Yeah. I, I think the very same way that you're thinking. Uh, there's so many different uh, problems that we're having yeah. because we're not allowing people to be who they just are. Just who they are, you know. Yes. I was watching part of the, the, the Special Olympics which I just think is just extraordinary, you know. The, the whole, I think, we're in a, a time and an element now of acceptance, you know. It's just like Caitlin. I, I admire so much what Bruce did, what Caitlin did. And, and everybody else that's willing to just be free enough mm -hmm. 
to free themselves to be happy enough to enjoy this big world the way I whether we agree with it or not. That's true. And all, you know, accept people who for who they are. The big, big fat ones, the skinny ones, the yes. real, real black ones, the, the high yellow ones, the whatever. I'm polka dot, I'm not me. I don't care whoever, whatever they are. Accept people for who they are. God's creation. That's right. We're you all know? God's creation. When, when I was teaching Jackie, I was teaching acting, and I uh, I had a meet and greet for the parents. This was a few years back. And I told them that, you know, when their kids came to my class, they had to abide by my rules, That's you know, because right. it was my class. And if they didn't want to go along with what I had set aside for them, and all, uh, then I wouldn't take it personal for them to take their kids out. But I did have, have a meet and greet for the parents first. Mm -hmm. I would not allow any name calling, mm -hmm. any profanity. I am not there talking about I'm not there to feed your kids. I will give them some water because I don't know who's a, who allergic to what. That's and right. I'm not going to jail and nobody's going to the hospital. Right. And uh, I'm just being responsible. But I'm doing things the way I feel they should be done. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but in order for them to create and create from uh, another space that really go within, then they got to get rid of all that garbage. So don't come in there with negativity and picking at people and all that. Cause I don't want it. Right. I don't want it. I don't want it for the children. I don't want it for adults either. You see what I'm saying? Yes. But uh, that's 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 just me, you know. And if you couldn't do that, or you felt that was going to be offensive to you, or your kid wasn't going to behave. By all means, don't bring your kid to my class. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm, I'm, I, that's just where I am. That's right. That's I'm not mad. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good luck. Bye. <laughs> that's just where I feel about it.